So now we're going to do what's sometimes referred to as duality. Um, uh, and we're going to take advantage of something called the envelope theorem, which I will explain in a moment here. We're going to go back to the nominal wage and the price and view L star as a function of both of them. So L star is a function of both P and W. And we're going to, from that, define the profit function, which is a function that gives profit directly as a function of the parameters P and W. It is defined to be P F of L star of PW minus W L star of PW. So the profit function says what the profits are as a function of the environment parameters P and W. And here is the kind of the critical result. When you try to compute partial pi partial p, partial p, it turns out, even though this looks like L star is involved with all of this, the only uh, thing that gets left over is f of L star of pw, that is the derivative of the profit function with respect to the product price is the output that's optimal at that product price. And this is because the remaining terms that involve L star, remember we have the first order condition, PF prime minus W equals zero. Um, and because that's true at the optimal point, the other terms drop out. And all we have left is partial pi partial P is F star. And likewise, we have partial pi partial w is minus L star. Again, for the same reason, because the first order condition is satisfied, so all the other terms drop out. And so these results, these are called the envelope theorem results, mean you can recover the output and the labor demand from the profit function and you can recover the comparative statics by the second derivatives of the profit function. Okay, so partial uh, pi partial w, I think this is partial squared w, partial, I think the way we write this, let's write this a little better, partial squared pi partial w squared is equal to minus partial L star, partial W. That is, you get, in effect, the labor demand curve from the profit function directly. It's kind of a neat trick. Um, as we generalize this to go beyond one variable, we will talk more about duality and properties of these dual functions. Pi is called a value function. So let me write that here. This is a value function it gives directly the value of profit as a function of the environment.